Today's topic, five psychological attraction hacks you must use. Today I want to share some very, very important and very effective seduction hacks with you that you absolutely have to use if you want to become a successful global seducer who wants to have a lot of beautiful women in his life or if you're just looking for a wonderful, beautiful and loyal girlfriend. And some of these hacks, especially the first one, are very weird and you might think to yourself that can't be true, it just can't be true. But I can tell you from my own personal experience and also from scientific research that it is true. And I know it's psychologically stupid for me to mention the most important and the most powerful attraction hack in the beginning, but I still want to do it because hey, I'm such a big fan of it and I just had to mention it in the beginning. And that's to approach women who have a similar facial structure as you. And now you might be saying, what? Yes, you've heard that right. This is so powerful and it's completely underrated by so many men. So many men don't even think about this. But there's been extensive scientific research that proves that even though it sounds kind of weird and awkward, we as human beings are attracted to people who have similar DNA as we have. And when you, for example, Google celebrity couples who look alike, then you will see how that looks in reality. When I googled that for the very first time, I was just looking at these articles with my mouth wide open. And then I thought to myself, this makes so much sense. Now I totally get it. The women who were the most into me had similar facial structures as I have. And even though some of these women were, in my opinion, at least from my beginner's opinion, because back then I still believed in leaks, I thought to myself, she's way out of my league. How can she possibly want me? This skinny baby faced with a big scar German, how can she possibly want me? But when I then had a look at her facial structure, it made complete sense. And the couple who, yeah, who inspired me to do some research about this, was Jessica Alba and Cash Warren. And when I saw them together, I thought to myself, huh? how is that possible? Jessica Alba is so beautiful. She's like a total 10 and she's together with this guy. But when you then have a look at their facial structure, it's almost identical. And there are also a lot of other celebrities where you can see that. One of the clearest examples is Giselle Bündchen and Tom Brady. If you have a look at them, they have the exact same face. There's been one article, I think it was from BuzzFeed, when I typed in celebrity couples who look alike. And in that BuzzFeed article, you can actually slide the images. You can, for example, make half a face of Tom Brady and half the face of Giselle Bündchen. And when you then look at them, it makes complete sense why he fell for her. It makes complete sense. It's DNA, it's biology. In this case, we are victims of our biology. I, for example, when I look at Giselle Bündchen, I don't see a beautiful woman, even though she's a top model. I don't see a very beautiful woman because I'm into women who have very soft facial features and who don't have long noses, who have more like tiny pointy noses, because that's my facial structure. And I always wondered why I'm so attracted to women who have thick lips. It's because I have very big and thick lips. These are all things that we can't control, but you can use it to your advantage. And there are so many examples of this amazing, yeah, you can say attraction hack. It is an attraction hack, because when you now go out with the intention to approach women who look exactly like you when it comes to their facial structure, your results will go through the roof. And I did a lot of research, because now you might be saying, oh yeah, so I can't have interracial relationships. Nope, you can still have interracial relationships. The beauty is, and that's something that I found out from my own experience and also from having a look at many, many articles and many scientific papers who write about this phenomenon, is that it only focuses on your facial structure. Even if you are a white guy, for example, like me, and you meet an Asian woman who has a similar facial structure, or you meet a black woman who has a similar facial structure, or a Latina, or any other race that exists in this world, even if she's from Mars, doesn't matter. As long as the facial structure is similar, the bone structure, the size of your eyes, the size of your lips, 
That's what matters. Race is irrelevant. It's all about facial structure. And like I said, there are so many examples. Another one would be Denzel Washington and Pauletta Washington. When you put these images together, you basically have the same person just with a wig. Or Sophie Hunter and Benedict Cumberbatch. And they are actually a perfect example because they both have really long faces and you can really see why they are so attracted to each other. And no matter if you're looking for a one night stand or if you're looking for a girlfriend and especially if you're looking for a girlfriend because I've actually found studies that prove that couples who look alike stay together longer and are happier. It's really crazy how this whole phenomenon works out. But if you focus on women who look a little bit like you from your facial structure, this can have a huge effect on the results that you achieve as a seducer. And the second attraction hack that I want to share with you is that you fulfill the fantasy that she has about the man you want to be. And now you might be saying, what? It gets more and more confusing. I repeat it again. Fulfill the fantasy that she has about the man you want to be. Who do you want to be? Do you want to be, for example, if you are now in your 40s or 50s or maybe even 60s, do you want to be an elegant silver fox? Then dress accordingly and dress in a nice tailor-made suit and behave accordingly. Or are you a younger guy and you want to be a confident college guy? Dress accordingly and behave accordingly. Or are you a long-haired hippie and you want to attract hippie chicks? Dress accordingly and behave accordingly. Or do you want to be a bad boy with a leather jacket and ripped jeans and you want to meet women who are looking for short-term mating opportunities? Then dress accordingly and act accordingly. Every woman has multiple fantasies about certain guys. When she's dating younger guys, she might have this fantasy of the confident college guy. But when she's dating older men, then she might have this fantasy of the elegant silver fox. And that's also why one of the biggest mistakes that you can make if you are an older guy in your 40s and 50s, is to try to desperately be young and walk around with a base cap, because this doesn't fulfill any fantasy. But if you then walk around with an elegant suit and you just dress and groom accordingly, this fulfills her fantasy. And then you can fulfill the fantasy that she has about the man you want to be. Because by being the man you want to be, no matter which category you choose, you then fulfill this fantasy for her. So always think about who do I want to attract? Who do I, with my style, with my behavior, with the way I choose language, want to attract? What kind of girl do I want to attract in my life? And if you ask yourself this question and you then come up with an answer and you find out, okay, I want to attract this type of girl, then dress and behave accordingly because then you fulfill her fantasy. And if you then also use the 19 scientifically proven seduction techniques that you discover in chapter 4 of my book Rise of the Phoenix, then you will get her. And the next attraction hack that I want to share with you is that women consider you as attractive as you consider yourself. And this is one of these points where most guys completely freak out. Because by YouTube videos and by podcasts and articles, Men are brainwashed nowadays to believe that it's all about looks and money. These are the only two things that matter. But let me tell you about one of my high school friends. He was not handsome at all. But he had confidence. And he considered himself attractive because he knew that women are attracted to different things than men. Yes, of course, if you only want to date superficial girls who only swipe on hot guys on Tinder. That's a different story. But if you meet girls wherever you are in your social circle doing day game, then you have the choice to meet so many amazing women who do not care so much about superficial qualities such as your looks. And if you consider yourself attractive, then women will consider you attractive. Because your body language changes, the way you talk changes, the way you walk changes, everything changes. And this friend that I just mentioned in high school, he dated the most beautiful women, even though he wasn't handsome at all. Like, at all. I mean, I'm not really that handsome. But he, he was, yeah, you can say he was considered ugly. And he's still considered ugly. But now he's in a relationship with a beautiful woman. Why? Because he knows that women consider you as attractive as you consider yourself. And most men totally overestimate money when it comes to attracting women. That's the next 
psychological attraction hack that I want to share with you. No matter what video you watch, especially in the manosphere, it's all about money. All women care about is money. It's just money, you need money and then you get girls. This is not true. Will you be able to attract certain girls with money? Yes, absolutely. Is money important when you, for example, want to find a wife? Yes, but you don't need a lot of money. You just need to be stable enough to raise a family if she wants to have a family with you. But what if you want to date women in a casual way or even if you want to have long-term relationships with women? That might not end in marriage. Then money is almost irrelevant. I've dated women who made way more money than I made. In fact, the last girl I dated who was 10 years younger than me made way more money than me. She was very, very successful for her age. In fact, she was very successful for any age. And most women do not care. I never owned a car in my life. I'm a minimalist. And even though nowadays I'm more financially successful than a couple of years ago, I'm still not what most people would consider rich. And I'm definitely not the kind of guy who throws money around and who shows off with money. And as a man, you have the privilege that you don't have to rely on anything that you can't learn. You can rely on things that you can in fact learn. If you rely on your charm, if you rely on your confidence, on your seduction skills, on your flirting skills, then you will be able to attract beautiful women no matter if you have money or not. And if you want to become this man, if you want to have these skills, then I can highly recommend that you click on the link in the description and find out more about my audiobook and ebook course Rise of the Phoenix. But one last warning, even though you can also get girls when you are completely broke, money is still amazing. I mean, a lot of guys, when they realize that they don't need money to get late, then they say, oh, you know, I don't need to make any money. Who, who cares? I can get women. Money is still good. Money affords you the best food. Money affords you a nice apartment and amazing vacations. So please don't think that money is bad just because it's not that important for getting girls. But I just want to let you know that it's not all about the money. This is one of the biggest lies that's spread all over the internet. And I'm proof that it's not. And so many of my Skype coaching clients and my infield coaching clients are also proof that this is just not the case. And the last psychological attraction hack that I want to share with you is that your lifestyle boosts or destroys your attractiveness and your ability to attract women with your lifestyle also depends on what kind of girls you want to attract. If you, for example, want to attract a party girl, I mean, Lord have mercy on you if you want that, but if you want to attract a party girl, then of course, having a lifestyle where you are known in the club scene, where you drive in front of the club with a nice car, that might also be helpful. When you want to attract these type of girls, money can in fact be helpful, but like I said before, Lord have mercy on you if you really want that. I've done it in the past and believe me, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. But if you want to attract these type of girls, yes, then you might want to be the king in the club. But what if you want to attract women who are more introverted, who love to read? Then you might want to design your lifestyle in a way that you are the leader of a book club, that you create a meetup and this meetup will be a book club. And now you might be saying, yeah, come on, book club. <laughs> That's not really sexy. How can I get girls there? It all depends on the girl you want to attract. If you are in this position, in this social circle, with your lifestyle, the leader in this tiny, tiny niche, which is introverted girls who love books, then they will be way more attracted to you than if you would be some flashy guy who shows cash in a club. And that's actually something that women who have dated told me. They've told me that when a guy, for example, drives by with a really big and shiny car and then the window goes down and he says, hey, yo, you're really cute, come here. They are repelled by that. And then there are other girls who go, oh, hey, wow, flashy car. It always depends on who you want to attract. And when you design your lifestyle in a way that exactly attracts the kind of girls that you want, then you will live an amazing life. And if you want to design such a lifestyle, then you can check out chapter one in my book, Rise of the Phoenix, because in this chapter, I show you how you can design such a lifestyle. And you can find the link to my book in the description. And I also put a second link in the description that leads you to a very, very interesting and very not safe for work video that you might want to watch till the very end because, well, I don't want to reveal too much, but this video has the potential to change your life. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a big, big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below 
what you think about it. Share your opinion, share your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. And I would love it even more if you would hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell really, really hard so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.